Meanwhile, closer to home, the Robert E. Lee High School name change is still a hot topic in the Tyler community. And as more people weigh in on where they stand on changing the name, a community organization is now working with students to make their voices heard. CBS 19's Peyton Weidman stopped by the Tyler Metro Chamber of Commerce earlier to learn more. In light of recent calls to action for racial justice and equality, the Tyler Metro Chamber of Commerce is joining in the fight to change the Robert E. Lee High School name. We don't have to put up monuments and names on buildings to teach the history. It can be in the books as a part of the curriculum. Clover Bolden, executive director of the Metro Chamber, knows all too well about growing up in a school named after Robert E. Lee. And she's also seen what happened after her hometown of Port Arthur changed the name two years ago. She feels a change could do the same for the city of Tyler. I think it will be unifying because it will take out that daily sting that people of color are forced to deal with every day when they're confronted by monuments to our racist and slavery past. The chamber is working with students who also want to see Lee's name removed from the school. We're actually in talks and, and getting together where we can help strengthen their voice. Because Borden says these students represent Tyler's future leaders. We need to recognize that where there is passion, that is excellent, but it needs to be productive passion. So let's put it together. Change the name. Change the name. Change the, name. the Tyler Metro Chamber plans to help facilitate future community meetings with students about the issue. That's number one is getting the word out, communicating, as well as help with legal counsel. We've got you covered, Tyler, Peyton Weidman, CBS 19. The next Tyler ISD school board meeting is set for July 20th.